Was it not you who suggested the creation of oversectors and oversector governance as a means of enhancing our control? Emperor Palpatine, to Wilhuff Tarkin while the Empire utilized the senators of the Imperial Senate to maintain control of their respective systems, control was gradually given over to Imperial Sector and Planetary Governors, or MOFs. Grand MOFs were charged with overseeing control of oversectors, which comprised numerous sectors, and the Imperial Navy was organized into sector fleets. Rather than direct annexation, many of the Empire's territories were controlled through puppet states, alliances, and protectorates, most notably the corporate sector. The local governing bodies that were in the Imperial Senate, to which had autonomy were downgraded to a mostly ceremonial and powerless role, as were the senators they sent, who all served under a moth's oversight. On the border of the Mid-Rim and Outer Rim territories, an invisible boundary was considered the front line against the lawlessness of the Outer Rim. The imperial sphere of influence ended shortly before reaching hut space, resulting in its reputation as a haven for smugglers, bounty hunters and other denizens of the galaxy. The Empire also maintained strategic resource systems, in which industrial surveillance, heightened security measures and higher work quotas were in effect, and were often placed under the supervision of influential barons, moguls and efficiency experts.